how to explain this experience. Uh... Okay, so I'm going to start this one off by saying that this is my idea. Um, well, it started with me anyway. It was really Kaisa's idea. Um, see, I said that... Just, I started reading... Oh, it's so embarrassing. I started reading a Paranormal Romance. And it still is a little embarrassing, but I've been reading them. And the one series that me and my friend at work are obsessed with right now is Laura Lay's, um, I think it's Lay or Lee. Laura Lee. I'm gonna go with Laura Lee. Uh, Laura Lee's, um, Breeds series. It's an adult romance novel, and it gets a little, um, well, it gets a little sexy. I will admit that going into this book, I did have my preconceived notions about, like, how crappy romance novels are and all of that. <laughs> there was so much sex all over the place. There are like 28 books in this breed series. I've read Megan's Mark, Harmony's Way, Stick Storm, Tanner's Scheme, Lion's Heat, Bangle's Heart, Coyote's Mate, and Mercury's War. So I've read quite a few of these. Um, that's probably the main guy character. He's called Mercury. And I don't think I need to explain what his character is like because I think this this image right here pretty much sums him up. Here's the thing about <laughs> I can't do this. Laura Lee writes the same exact plot over and over again with these breed series, but like slightly different each time. They um are in a situation that they can't help and um it's usually Jonas's fault, the main breed guy who puts them in these situations, because there's this thing called mating heat, and, and they find their mate and they get attracted to them, and it's and they usually hate each other at first, and then they love each other, and they're lust for each other, and then they love each other. So we've got a woman who has like zero confidence, who um, thinks she's ugly and she's very sad and lonely, and so she throws herself into the arms of a really muscly manly man who tells her what to do and really controls her in like a pretty creepy and scary way. You won't leave me again. You will never run from me again. Is that supposed to be romantic? That's scary. I would be scared of this dude. I'm not usually like an outspoken fighter for the female gender, but um, this, this book is like a, a feminist nightmare. The world she creates is extremely interesting. It takes place in the future and um, like 2023 20, and there's these <laughs> scientists have been taking human DNA and um, mixing it with animal DNA and so um, you get these things called breeds and they look like humans and everything but you know you can have a wolf breed, a lion breed, a coyote breed. I like the concept of this. I think it's very plausible in science we could do this and mess with DNA and I like that and I like that she's exploring that but she's exploring it in a very sexy way. Not really in a sci-fi way. So much. Much of the six. I will give her credit. I, I personally like them. They're fun for me to read and, and they're, you know, they're interesting. So um, I like them. I'm not saying that they deserve medals or anything. They're not that good. Um, they're just entertaining to me. With all things in life, you know, you have to try it out before you condemn it, you know? And, and now I've tried it out and now I can condemn it. Um. <laughs> this is really not my thing. I didn't sympathize with any of the characters. Just the girl. Wow. Mercury's War, page 63. Was I raping you? Yeah, see, any any kind of book that has a character that has to ask someone if he was indeed raping her, it must be pretty special. If you like adult romance and you don't mind things getting a little steamy, or a lot steamy, uh, you can read Laura Lee's Breed novels. Mm-hmm. 